College football gambling picks for bowl week number one. Uh, this is going to be December 15th through the 19th. We're just going to give you the games that we like the most. Sometimes um, we might pick three games. We might pick five. We, you so know. I'll, I'll tell you this. I've got four games. Let's go around. How many you got? I got, I've got. i got five I'm going to get. you got out. five. Okay. Um, let's go on and jump in. Uh, since you got five, I'll let you start and finish. How's that? Sure. I'm going to roll with Bill Clark and UAB laying three against Northern Illinois. Northern Illinois has not done well in bowl games, and I, I, I'm just going to ride with Bill Clark from now until the end of the time. I mean, he pretty much has to face off against Mike Leach for me to say, you know what, maybe I'll think about this one. Well, I, I'll tell you this. Uh, UAB was 1-3 and three against the spread in their last four. Um, I'm going the opposite of you. That's the Boca Raton Bowl that is on the, what, the eight, no, yeah, 18th, Tuesday, December 18th. Um, 6 p.m. on ESPN. I've got Northern Illinois plus three here. Uh, and, and just for a little fun, I'm going to take the under 43. These are two defensive-minded football teams. UAB's quarterback, we're still not sure if he's going to be back for this game. Uh, Northern Illinois has got two guys in the top six in the country as far as total sacks. They are going to come swinging at UAB. Uh, I think they're going to be fired up for this game in Boca Raton. Um, at UAB played their Super Bowl. They they won their conference title. And I understand that Northern, uh, Northern Illinois did the same thing. I, was say, I don't know if that was their Super Bowl. But, uh, but man, like I, I've seen UAB be really bad. I think Northern Illinois comes out and, and handles them. I like the plus three here. Uh, what's, uh, what's game number two for you? MTSU plus six and a half against App State. And... You got a coaching situation where the head coach for App State don't know how much of the genius he was. He, he kind of did the same thing the coaches before him have done. Uh, but MTSU, we've got a coaching situation where this is his last game. He's retiring. His son is a quarterback. This will be his last game to ever play in college football. Probably is his is last Rick game Stark ever. still retiring? Yeah. I didn't realize that. Oh, I think this is his last game. I know. I know. Brent, his like the quarterback, his son uh, I, is, is. I think gone. I think he's I think he's retiring. I think this is his last game. I think that's what I read. Huh? I I think this is one of those situations where MTSU is leaving it all out on the field. I can believe that they are going to fight for their guy. I will have money line action riding on this game quite a bit. Well, MTSU is uh, four and one against the spread. The last five as an underdog. So I I like that. I like that pick. Uh, I liked it a lot more when it was uh, App State minus seven and a half. Oh yeah, earlier. Um, yeah. But yeah, six can't and a half get that still, one anymore. Can't, can't get that one anymore. Uh, I like the New Mexico Bowl. Uh, Saturday, December 15th, 1 p.m. Central Time on ESPN. Look, I understand Matt Wells has gone from Utah State, but his entire staff is staying behind. They are helping coach the team. They still got Jordan Love. North Texas, uh, Seth Luttrell, like they, they haven't always shown up in bowl games. I love Utah State here. This line dropped immensely. It was 11 and a half to start out with. And once Matt Wells left, it is now seven and a half. I'm taking Utah State minus seven and a half. I liked them at nine when we did our first preview for them a couple of days ago. Now it's all the way down to seven and a half. Give me Utah State. Give me the Aggies minus seven and a half against North Texas. I think they come out and, uh, and prove that they were not just the coach, that the players had something to do with this too. Next game I'm giving is Arizona State plus four and a half against Fresno State. I like both these coaches, and I really like both these programs. If this was a one, two point less than a field goal game, I would feel a little differently. I'm getting four and a half. I just figured I'm taking the dog, and I'm riding with Herm Edwards. I, I like Coach Herm. I think he's a, a really good coach. He's done an incredible job as week one. I think he's going to have his guys playing really hard for him. Once again, I'm getting a dog plus four and a half. I think has a really good chance to win the game. I'm going to have money line option on um, Arizona State. I'm going the complete opposite direction. Las Vegas Bowl, 2.30 p.m. ABC this Saturday, December 15th. I got Fresno State minus four and a half. Uh, Nikhil Harry is not playing, so the offense is going to take a little bit of a jump back for Arizona State, but everything that Hurm does, Tedford seems to do better this year. Uh, I understand it was against a different schedule, but Fresno, this is 
a, a huge game for them. They are all discussing about they want to prove that they can do this against Power 5 teams, that this was not just to show that they are the real deal. I, I like them here. I, the Las Vegas Bowl always seems to come up with something a little screwy. I think Tedford is, uh, is amped up for this one. I'm going to take Fresno State minus four and a half. All right. Next one, Tulane minus three and a half against Louisiana. I I, I really like this Tulane team. I I like Willie Fritz a lot. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna play him in a bowl game. I probably would go against the option if this was a late in bowl season time where you've got two and a half, three, four weeks to prepare for them. They had two weeks to prepare. Tulane lost their OC to another job. I actually think that's in their best benefit is now. I mean, it, it's going to be some style of the option, but it might not be the same play calling. You don't really know what's going to happen or what to expect. I'm laying three and a half. Louisiana's played well. They they got into a bowl game. I don't think this is the matchup they want. Again, going the exact opposite direction of you. Uh, I've got Louisiana Lafayette plus three and a half, or I think it's just Louisiana. It's just Louisiana. The Raging Cajuns. Uh, plus three and a half here. Uh, look, Louisiana this year, nine and four against the spread, three and one against the spread of their last four. Uh, they are putting up points in bunches. And I understand they give up a lot, but Tulane sometimes has trouble scoring just against air. It just kind of depends on the week. I know that I'm going to get Louisiana putting up yardage, putting up points. And I think that the hook here could help me out, but I think Louisiana could end up winning the game outright. I think they are kind of the the stepchild here. So, yeah, I, I would agree with that. So I, I think that they'll be uh, pretty amped up to be able to play against uh, an in-state team that, that it, even though it sounds ridiculous, seems to get a little bit more of the benefits than they do. Oh, totally. Uh, Billy Napier, year one, uh, got him into the Sun Belt Championship game. Look, I, I like Louisiana a lot here, plus three and a half. What uh, What's your last game? My last game, I, I leaned in the um, in the preview that we did for the bowl game, Ohio. The more I'm thinking about it, we're getting closer to the time the actual bowl start. I'm, I'm going to take the points. I, I think San Diego State actually has a really good chance to win this game. The MAC historically has just not done well in bowl games. And when they're favorites, I, I, I think I'm going to avoid them more than I have. And so with that being said, my last game I am betting, I'm taking San Diego State plus three. Okay. I can understand that. Uh, let's do a, a little recap here. I've got Utah State minus seven and a half. Louisiana plus three and a half, Fresno State minus four and a half, and Northern Illinois plus three. Uh, what uh, what are your five? UAB minus three, MTSU plus six and a half, Arizona State plus four and a half, Tulane minus three and a half, and San Diego State plus three. So we're going head to head on three of these. Yeah, yeah, we sure are. So Saturday should be a lot of fun. We'll see how that works out. We absolutely will. Uh, that wraps up our college football. Bowl games from December 15th through 19th. Recap uh, or, or gambling picks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, go over to Tunica, Mississippi. We've given you everything you need to know to be a winner. So go on down to Tunica. Put some action down at one of their six incredible sports books. You can find more information on them over at tunicatravel.com. You can find more information about us and our picks and our previews and everything else at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, go enter the football picks contest. Knock that thing out. Uh, Ten picks this week. Five bowl games, five NFL games. Winner gets two nights at Sam's Town, a $100 gift certificate to the Steakhouse, Twain Steakhouse, and $50 slot play at Sam's Town. So go knock it out over at winningcureseverything.com. We'll see you guys the next go-round.